communities along the Tano River from Techimai, Tano, so in the Bono East region to Chira in the Bono region also, and Duyaya Mkwanta and Bechim in the Ahafo region have been advised not to drink from the river until further notice. A statement signed by the Ofenso North District Director of NADMO, Elijah Mamous, explained the water has been poisoned as a result of an accident which involved an articulator truck uh, carrying some 2,500 500 gallons of sulfuric acid. The vehicle plunged into the river at Tanoso in the Bunuis region and emptied its content into the water, culminating in the death of several aquatic life, including fishes and crocodiles. Our reporter Larry Parquisi Moses is joining us uh, with updates. Uh, so, Parquisi, uh, good afternoon. Uh, it must be a pretty hectic day for you uh, around this accident area. What can you report? Yeah, currently uh, we, I'm at uh, Tama, so uh, just in between uh, Techima Municipal and then uh, Akumada in Ashanti region. Uh, since we came here, we've seen the evacuation of the, the truck, but then the content is still in the water and then NADMA has employed the community people within the community to ask it to do the evacuation of the chemical. Mm. But as I'm speaking to you, I've seen officials from the Ghana Water Company who are also here to test the pH level of, of the water. Uh, I've seen quite a number of people here, though, even though the community is doing well in the evacuation, but it's, it's, a, it's a very tedious one because uh, I can count not less than over 500 over 500 bottled uh, acidic content in the water. So they have to evacuate all. Right. Uh, some aquatic, some aquatic uh, uh, lives too have been affected. Crocodiles and fishes have, been, have, have, have all uh, uh, I mean, gone waste uh, as, as a result of the accident. Right. But mm. before I quickly uh, 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 you take over, I have the, the acting UTA director of uh, Bono, Bono East, the person of Anthony Dia. For, for Alice, we want him to throw more light on the chemical aspect of uh, the, the whole thing. Uh, Mr. Dia, good afternoon. Welcome to TV3. Uh, thank you. And uh, uh, also we want to wish your cherished viewers all the best. Yes, like you rightly said, uh, these containers, uh, per the way bill, they're supposed to be 2,500 gallons. And uh, we started this evacuation exercise since yesterday. Uh, and uh, you realize that uh, we were challenged by the fact that the truck was directly inside the, what, the stream. And uh, as late as 11 p.m., that we were able to remove the truck from the stream. And this has been a way for us to do the evacuation of the rest of the water, the, the, the drums. Unfortunately for us now, you can even see that uh, the water is flowing frequently as compared to yesterday, where there was blockage. And because of the blockage, what really happened was that the pH around the immediate environment had to go high. And uh, for now, what is happening is most of the stakeholders are around, Water Resource Commission is around, Ghana Water Company is around, uh, EPA uh, is around, most of the institutions uh, generally uh, related to water are here to ensure that the pH levels are within, we monitor the pH levels along the water course because there are communities who are also living along the water course. However, they have been told not to use the water, the water until such a time that values that are obtained from this uh, analysis uh, will help us make informed decisions as to the next step. Yeah, so this is what is happening right. in terms of uh, the acidity. Yes, it is true. Aquatic life was lost uh, yesterday. Uh, quite a few of them were collected, and the community has to uh, bury the, the fishes and some of the aquatic fauna in line with their tradition. Uh, but until then, the situation is beginning to be normalized. Uh -huh. The other challenge has to do with PP is protective. Uh, personal protective equipment. Uh, however, some corporate institutions and other stakeholders have been able to marshal their little resources to ensure that we have the PPEs around. Water Commission also has, uh, Water Company has come so that they enable us to do the dowsing within the, 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 the area to enable faster evacuation. So, so far, this is what we're doing. So, the issue is that it's not car battery? No, it's not car battery at all. But I'm not going to emphasize that these are gallons that contain 98% sulfuric acid, but it is not car battery. This uh, sulfuric acid is, is, is being to neighboring 
Burkina Faso. And when it goes there, it is left to the businessman to decide what he wants to use that factory as it for. That's okay. Right, uh, so that's Park uh, Peters there bringing us up to speed with uh, the accident in uh, the Bono area.